Hello guys and welcome to windowsreport.com. In this video, we're going to talk about the compare exchange 1 to 8 problem in Windows 10. This is a problem that can come up when you upgrade to Windows 10 from another version of Windows. So in this video, I'm going to show you a few solutions and I'm going to give you a few advices that can help you solve this problem. <music> Firstly, you're going to have to check your Windows version and see if you have a 32-bit or a 64-bit. This problem can come up when you have a 64-bit version of Windows installed, but your processor is not supporting this architecture. So you have to check this out. To see your Windows version, you're going to have to right-click on this PC and then click on Properties. And here, you're going to be able to see your system type. In my case, I have a 64-bit. If you have so, you have to make sure that your processor supports this architecture. If everything is okay and you don't have a processor that can support the version of Windows, you're gonna have to make sure that you have the latest version of your Windows operating system because uh, sometimes when you upgrade to a version of Windows it comes outdated with no updates installed. To make sure that you have all the updates installed in the latest version of Windows, you're gonna have to click on the start menu and then click on the settings icon and in settings you're gonna have to scroll down to update and security and in the Windows update tab you'll see that Windows will automatically check for updates and will let you install them when you're ready. There are not many solutions to this problem because it's a very rare problem but if the problem still persists after trying all this I'm gonna recommend you do a clean install of Windows. You should not upgrade uh, to another version. Just perform a clean install of Windows, format your hard drive or your SSD, whatever you're using, and do a clean install and that and like that you can solve the problem really easily. So I'm hoping this video helped you, but don't forget that if you want to find out more information about this problem and maybe some other advices that you should try to take into consideration, you can check out the article down below in the description. We have a dedicated article for this problem on our website windowsreport.com so don't forget to check that out so i'm hoping after all this you manage to solve the problem so this was the video guys don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed it and subscribe to the channel with the notification bell activated so you won't miss any future uploads also don't forget to leave a comment down below with problems that you have on your windows operating system and we can try to solve your issue in the next video until next time have a nice day